the fact that you're complaining to me about anything is crazy to me. But, hey, I'm the $85 an hour guy. 279,000 miles on my truck. I got an oscillating fan blowing on me, brother. You know what that means? That means the AC don't even work in this thing. And I do AC. So, with that being said, you want to know why it's on the bill a certain way and you think this strategy is better than that strategy, I'll break it down even further for you. So, the reason that they do that is because the cost to acquire a new customer in the air conditioning industry is very expensive. So, instead of charging you $150, they just charge you $25. They will make that money back up in the long term because the long term value of that customer is very, very high because statistically speaking, they're going to get a change out within the first two years of doing business with you. So they'll put that $125 back on the change out fee. But during that service call while they're out there, they're going to try to go ahead and make that back up. So you come out there, you're thinking that uh, you did something real slick by getting someone out there for $29 and the other company was $150. Well, all they did was say, hey, yeah, we gave you your diagnosis. Here's the capacitor. Uh, if you want it, it's $300. And now you're all of a sudden, you're in a proposition to where do you take it or do you not? It's 90 degrees in your house. He's got it in his hand. He can get you running right now. It's similar to how an airport operates when they charge outrageous amounts for their food and drinks. Same thing with uh, any kind of stadium, football, basketball, baseball, any of that. It's exactly the same thing they do. Make it make sense for me. Why does consumers keep picking companies that's $29 knowing that the guy that's coming over there is making more than that per hour? 